I am beautiful. I am worthy. I am fertile. My fertility goddess. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods. Welcome to your August 2024 fertility prediction. This reading is going to be all about what you can expect in August 2024 surrounding your fertility journey. So this reading is for those of you who are actively trying to conceive at this time, okay? Or maybe you're thinking about starting your fertility journey in August um, or restarting it in August, okay? But um, this is going to be most true for you. And of course, this is a collective reading. So always, always, always booking a personal reading is going to be the most accurate, okay? So if you're interested in learning more about your personal journey um, through predictions specifically for you, then I highly recommend working with me in one of two ways. One, you can join us in our VIP Patreon Baby Dust community where you have access to all of my mini services. So if you want to get a checkup or a check-in, a recheck reading, um, someone maybe need a checkup right now, okay, <laughs> a doctor's appointment. Um, but anyways, a recheck reading or if you're just wanting to know something very specific, something that may not be grandiose, um, then about, a, about your journey, then you can find all of those sessions there, plus receive 20% off just for being a VIP and the community on every session that I have and mentorship or we can work together via my sacred spirit baby conversation which is the grandiose package okay so it includes um, the predictions the spirit baby messages it includes identifying blockages in your journey how to remove them and so much more okay so you can find the links to those down below in the description box as well as in the comment section okay so let's get started we have three different piles here so we have pile number one pile number two pile number three so for pile number one first of all let's just talk about the fact that we have so much going on here um i wanted to put all of this out i felt called to put all of this out because there's so many different ways for you to select your pile this month okay so for pile number one of course we have the rose quartz crystal here this is a raw rose quartz crystal and i just felt so drawn to put that crystal there so that's significant very significant for pile number two we have this crystal i don't even know what it's called okay i don't i forgot what it's called it's a jasper i think i don't remember but it's so pretty it's so unique okay so that's for pile number two it's like a amber um tan and like grayish crystal okay um so that's really pretty and then for pile number three we have this round sphere this is a or a sphere right it's round <laughs> um fluorite okay this is a fluorite sphere okay so this is for pile number three now also hopefully i can get it to stay still again it was so perfect <laughs> that's okay we'll leave it there and then um also i'm using different tarot decks for each each pile so I also felt the need to put those out here um, we have some pre-selected cards that I have in each pile so pile number one we're going to be using this um, what is this that called the Orion's animal tarot okay so for pile number one for pile number two we're going to be using my fertility tarot which was created by me and the spirit babies and then for pile number three we're going to use the traditional writer rate writer wait yeah tarot okay <laughs> So um, choose, you can choose from crystal, you can choose by pile number, 111, 222, 333, maybe you're seeing those numbers, um, or 123 may be significant for you, okay? Or you can choose by the design of the tarot deck here, okay? Now, if you haven't yet chosen your pile, I highly recommend taking a few seconds to take a deep breath into your nose and then exhale out of your mouth, close your eyes. open your eyes and then whichever pile you feel most attracted to right in that moment is going to be the pile that has your messages for your fertility journey okay all right my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods i will see you in your selected pile 
Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods who chose pile number one. If you chose this rose quartz crystal or you're attracted to the number 111, maybe you're seeing 1111, um, or you're attracted to this Orion's animal tarot, then this is your pile. This is going to be your fertility prediction for the month of August 2024. We are going to see what the um, energy is surrounding your fertility journey, some things that you can expect during your fertility journey in this month, the messages that you may have from your baby, some love messages or messages about themselves, about your future pregnancy, okay, as well, um, and whatever else your little one wants to share with us, okay, but we are looking all into the energy of August 2024. Now, I said in the, um, the intro, if you're interested in getting um, more accurate predictions for yourself, there are two different ways we can work together, either through my VIP Patreon community or through booking a Sacred Spirit Baby conversation, and all the details to that are linked down below in the description box as well as in my comment section, okay? Um, now... I felt so, 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 so drawn to putting this rose quartz crystal here on pile number one, okay? I, I don't know. I try to, like, switch up the crystals when I do use crystals, but I have been, like, so attracted to rose quartz crystal lately, and um, immediately when I was like, oh, I'm going to put crystals on this reading, I felt the need to put this rose quartz right here. So roses could be significant. Rose, the name Rose may be significant. That could be your name, middle name, um, maybe a name you want to name your child, okay? Um, or roses, okay? Also, rose quartz crystal, okay? Maybe you are being attracted to that as well. Um, this could be a month of more um, experiencing or practicing more self-love, for you as well that may be something that is a theme for the month of august and you may be wondering like how is that you know fertility related let me tell you it is so fertility related okay um everything i'm just gonna say this one statement do everything with love okay and almost do everything in love i, I want to say you know do everything in love um because that i mean that includes making love with your partner right that includes um, scheduling doctor's appointments, that includes testing, that includes, um, you know, just going by your day-to-day -day -day activities, like do everything in love. So you may be inviting in the energy of love more and more during this month, and this could also be um, helping you fall more in love with yourself, okay? Um, reconnecting with yourself if you've disconnected from yourself throughout the journey, that can definitely happen, okay? I've been there, and I'm actually on a journey right now where I am reconnecting with myself. I've actually been on this journey for some time, and there's been like, you know, ups and downs within it, and I, and I feel like I stop, and then I come back, and I stop, and I come back, but each time I come back, it's stronger. So that tells me that I have truly been working on reconnecting with myself um, this entire time. I just feel it more than others. So this could be something similar to you as well. And you may be noticing it more in the month of um, August. I also pick up Leos in this in, in this pile. So you could be a Leo. Okay. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Maybe you're celebrating yourself this month as well because it's your birthday. Um, let's see. I just, I don't know. I just really feel this false energy. So I have three cards already, three tarot cards here that are going to be um, representative of your, um, what is it? Your, the energy surrounding your fertility journey. And I'm going to put those to the side for now because I want to just go forth with this card first. Okay. And we're going to get a few other cards, but I want to see the screen because I want to see where I need to stop at. There we go. So I know not to go beyond that little, your crystal there so that we don't, um, I'm not off screen. Okay, perfect. So this is the energy, the overall energy here surrounding the month of August, surrounding your fertility journey. We have, to, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I have not seen these cards, y'all, okay? I have not seen these cards. I just got the chills. <laughs> Such confirmation. We literally have tenderness, true love, and compassion. Now I'm going to read the, the book because I feel like I need to here, okay, um, in this reading for you guys. So we have the tenderness card says true love and compassion. It says this card foretells the coming of new or increasing love in your life. It may seem to arise from out of the blue or it may be a relationship that has been developing for quite some time. Either way, feelings of tenderness as portrayed in the sweet kiss will soon be intensifying. The brilliant gold that suffuses this tender moment indicates a purity in the connection between a connection being forged, radiating the sense of a deep heart-to-heart -heart bond. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I want to pause there because 
when I was connecting with the rose quartz crystal also I felt like when I was saying talking about love I also felt like this would be a love that you are deepening with your baby falling more in love with your child learning more about your future child okay before their arrival um, whether you are finding out you're pregnant or conceiving or not I feel like either way you are just falling more in love with the idea of having a child or falling more in love with learning about your child and with this message saying heart to heart bond this is reminding me of my um soul to soul um connection that i do in my sacred spirit baby conversations okay so whenever i have one of those sessions with the goddess we do a soul to soul um, guided meditation where i bring you and your little one into union um and so not only are you in that energetic bond but you're also now in this physical bond where you can feel your little one's presence so if that's something you want to experience that may be something you are interested in booking um the link is in the description box and in the comment section um um, but either way, you know, whether you book with me and you experience that or you decide that you want to connect with your baby in other ways, I just feel like you're opening your heart more to your little one's um, energy, okay? Beautiful. And you guys are bonding deeper this month. It says, it may be even a karmic calling, a relationship that extends from lifetime to lifetime. Because of its great height, the giraffe has an advantage over the other animals. That is the ability to see far into the distance. The message here is to be honest about your perspective on love. Be sure not to limit your view of your deserving or of your future potential. Now, I want to say that this number, this card, the, the def definition in our, or the description, it's on page 44. So 444 may be a significant number for you or 44. It says, even if you've been hurt in the past or been alone far too long, true love is on the horizon. Remember that the tenderness you give to yourself will be reflected back to you in the brilliant light and love that the universe will be sending your way. The affirmation is, I open my heart and my life to true love. I deserve tender kindness from others and I give it to myself. Okay, so this is beautiful. Okay, I want you to put in the comments down below. I deserve tender kindness from others and I give it to myself. Okay, or you can leave like a rose emoji or a heart emoji and I know that you're giving yourself more love this month. Okay, that you're dedicated to doing so. So the overall energy that I feel for you guys, okay, once again, you are just falling more deeply in love with your journey. This is going to be so beautiful and so journey changing. That has been like my phrase recently. <laughs> it is, this is so journey changing for you in such a positive way. And the reason being is that as you, love is the gateway to everything, you guys. And as you invoke or invite in more love into your journey, more love into yourself, you create pathways. You create these portals where things can, you know, doors that were once stuck, locked, closed, we couldn't find the key, we looked everywhere. These keys just appear. These doors just magically open. These roads just magically clear, okay? At least that's what it feels like. But through the energetic frequency of love, okay, you may even want to listen to like love frequencies or connect with goddess Aphrodite this month. Um, invite her into your journey to baby. Um, she is going to help you connect with not only self, but the love frequency that that lives in your environment that is all around you. And this is going to open roads, okay, um, for your fertility journey, for your little one to come in, okay, for your little one to be conceived or for them to arrive into your life in whichever way you are inviting them in. The other thing that came to mind just now was a road opening candle. So that may be something that you want to do during the month of August as well. Um, I'm hearing like a ritual. So this is not like lighting a candle once and like doing a seven day candle or like just like, you know, lighting it once. You may want to do a seven day candle or you may want to do a seven day candle twice throughout the month um, or whatever you feel called to do. Okay. I'm hearing dressing candles. So maybe you've been working on dressing candles. Create your own candle. Dress your own candle. Okay. Um, 
but this is beautiful. Yeah, I definitely feel like there could be like two candles here, okay? Um, you could have also done like some sort of love candle or this could be like um, what I feel with that is more like, have you seen, um, I've, I don't do them myself, but like some, I've seen some people do like the love readings with like the matches, I think. They do the two tall matches and then like do, they do the flame, twin flame reading or whatever. Like this could be something surrounding your relationship as well or connection with your partner, maybe growing deeper, okay? Like I just feel all this love love surrounding you during the month of um august now the other thing that i'm picking up here is i do feel and giraffes are just ugh, my mom's birthday is in august and she loves giraffes so <laughs> i just feel like you're going to be experiencing um finding gratitude and a lot of the things that you have previously experienced and finding gratitude and the things that um you you newly experienced like just finding love in everything okay it's what the the energy that i'm picking up here um surrounding your journey to baby you're also um not finding love but you're also inviting in love in a way where maybe before you were blocking it maybe before you were you know not allowing yourself to feel as deeply as you will in the month of august this is also going to create um like that pathway i was speaking of but through an a release of emotions okay it's what i feel here um and through this release of emotions it is going to literally create this um the way spirit is showing me it's like it's going to create all of this space for people to come in and love you okay so this is like friends family members um co-workers um the kindness that we just affirmed right like people are going to feel that gentleness you're going to be so in touch with your divine feminine energy that instead of you having this harsh shell because you've been going through this journey and you've been you know like experiencing all this hardship you are actually going to be um open to receiving to receiving okay i was gonna say love but just to receiving okay open to receiving so don't be surprised if in the month of august you receive more okay i see with the number nine here that there are some significant endings happening around your fertility journey in august and the things that you have been wanting the things you have been manifesting the things that you have been um yeah basically yeah basically that you are attracting okay with love like you are literally attracting it with love okay a deeper love between you and your partner a deeper understanding between you and your partner um compromise okay um compassion being expressed between you two um a deeper understanding of self forgiving yourself as well okay it's like your heart chakra is just vibrating here um this month um and i'm hearing feel it Okay, your spirit team wants you to fill it, fill into it. Okay, don't ignore it. Don't push it away. Don't because your body is going to all in your mind is going to try to go back into old ways of, 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 of feeling and old ways of thinking and and the block putting the block up because, oh, my gosh, this feels I'm feeling too much and I'm crying and I'm emotional and this. But I am telling you right now that this is what is needed in your journey to remove certain blockages that have been present, that have been limiting the connection between you and your spirit baby, and also limiting the connection of you receiving, okay? You're in your receive receptivity era, which is what we love here, okay? Because receiving is such a creative energy. It is such the divine feminine energy. It's so creative. Um, and this is what we want around us when we are wanting to create a baby, right? So such beautiful energy here. It's just, I mean, just look at this. This is just so soft and beautiful. So soft and beautiful and tender, okay? I love it. Beautiful. Okay, so let's see what else we have here as your cards. Um that represent and i want to see i'm going to see one more time i want to see how far over can i go okay cool i can go over to here perfect <laughs> all right so um i want to see what other messages spirit has for you like what is it that pile number one can expect to happen in their journey to baby more feminine energy oh my gosh are you kidding me beautiful okay so i feel some of you guys are going to be conceiving okay in the month of august we have the empress the temperance and the eight of cups because you're in this divine feminine energy you are choosing to walk away from things that no longer align with your energy i actually feel like things are just going to fall away the things that no longer align with you are just falling away here with the eight of cups which is therefore taking you into the space of receiving your manifestations right like i was just saying whatever you are you have been wanting to attract or you've been wanting to 
will receive you are now attracting with love okay you are meant to be in this soft feminine feminine energy okay in the month of august and i see that this is going to lead you to conception with the empress energy being present definitely connect with um flowers like the flowers are big for you is what i see here um like i was saying before the roses the rose petals the rose scent um i'm really seeing like maybe even taking like a spiritual bath with rose petals if you've been feeling called to do that definitely do that okay um i see there's a lot of balance coming into your life too okay this balance here is representing with the temperance energy i feel like this is representing emotional balance emotional stability that you're going to be experiencing um i don't see much outward outward um action being present either so it's, it, what it feels like to me is like all the things that you felt like you needed to do to get pregnant it's almost like those things are in the back of your mind and you are deciding that you are deciding to put love first you're deciding to put joy first you're deciding to enjoy your journey enjoy your um your time with your partner you know make love to your partner instead of baby dancing um you know you are deciding to declare conception versus trying to conceive um you are deciding to choose you know optimism versus being pessimistic you know um you are letting go of the past you are removing and releasing these past emotions and these past ways of thinking about your journey that does not matter that doesn't exist in your reality in the month of august okay let's see here yeah i'm hearing energetically the things that that do not align with your manifestation of pregnancy are falling away because they are no longer an energetic match with you because you have raised your frequency so much surrounding, you know, by inv inviting in the energy of love and embodying that energy that only those things that you love are now going to align with you. Um, you or your partner could have strong water sign in your, um, your birth chart. So Capricorn, Capricorn, that's not water. <laughs> um, so you could be a Capricorn, since I said Capricorn, but Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, okay, um, big time. Okay, I'm also seeing Taurus energy being present too. So earth and water, okay, maybe significant in your side, your um, birth chart. All right, Spirit, clarify this temperance energy here. Where is balance being presented? in their fertility journey spirit what area of their fertility journey is coming into balance here for pile number one we have a ten of pentacles okay so something that was not stable at all we have a ten of pentacles and reverse so you are trying to create some form of stability within your physical space. This may be within your home, your finances, your body, right? Um, maybe you have some hormonal imbalances going on. Um, maybe you had irregular cycles happening. Um, this could also be maybe your partner was having something going on within their body. Maybe there were some some issues or some things going on with your home. You were un you were unsure about the stability of your home, um, your finances, right? Maybe you were trying to gain more finances. Well, I see here that through the release of needing to take action or through the release of needing to make things right <laughs> i gotta fix it you are actually attracting the stability that you have been calling in okay and this stability is what is going to lead you into this space of creation you are literally cre what i feel here is that you are creating and i know this is going to sound so like dramatic but it feels like in the month of august this is the beginning of you creating the journey of your dreams okay like this is what this feels like here it feels like you are finally understanding that the more you do the less you allow yourself to feel because the more you 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 feel like you are doing the wrong thing. So you're like, it's a protection thing where you're like, nope, I'm just gonna do, right? I'm not gonna feel into it. I'm not gonna let my intuition speak as much as it should. I'm just gonna do it because I know that I have to do A, B, and C to get pregnant. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna track my cycle. I'm just gonna baby dance. I'm just gonna, you know, test and go to the doctor and eat right. And it's a lot of physical, right? And then, then that was throwing things out of in out of balance you know and so it's like we're, we're reducing that maybe we're not stopping a lot of that th that stuff but we're reducing it or we're taking our focus away because it has become routine or it's become a habit so it's like we don't need to focus on that anymore but i do need to focus on the areas that i have been neglecting which are my my what i love you know what brings me joy my happiness 
you know? Um, and so that is what I feel here is going to bring in this balance. Thank you, Spirit. What are we um, for the Empress? Clarify the Empress here. Okay. Two of Cups. Okay. Definitely I'm feeling pregnancy here with the Empress and the Two of Cups. Um, definitely this is the Two of Cups. I feel it's this harmony energy. Like things like the Two of Cups is literally the alignment of pregnancy here with the Empress. Um, I I feel with this Two of Cups energy that this is you and your partner coming together to create a child, okay? To create, okay? And since we're talking about pregnancy and fertility, this is a child here. Um, I also feel with the Two of Cups energy that that is confirmation of what I said prior. Like things are easily falling away here to align within your, you know, so that things can align for you to get pregnant. Okay. Um, also, and the people who are on it, the same frequency as you, meaning your friends, your family members, your doctors, they are the ones that are going to stay on your team. They're the ones that are going to continue to support you, continue to talk to you through August, um, continue to want to hear about what's going on, be being supportive because they understand because spirit has aligned them on this put them in the same frequency space as you okay those who are not are falling away they're being removed okay this is beautiful thank you spirit for that confirmation and the eight of cups clarify the eight of cups for me clarify the eight of cups we have the nine of wands yeah so i feel like you know in the past there was so much, so much surrounding do, 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 right? With the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups being present. Um, you're, you're walking away from that. You're walking away from, away from that. This decision to do so may feel a bit like worrisome, okay? It's with the energy that I feel here. But you feel the frequency of the number nine. So I want to say to you, goddess, and my fertility gods here, there is a baby that is coming your way. And with the number nine, I feel this strong connection to um, August and September, okay? The next two months with the two of cups being present, big time, okay? Um, some of you guys may be finding out you're pregnant after cancer season, okay, is up. I feel that energy too with this crab there that's just standing out to me, okay? Some of you guys may have conceived in um, the end of July or sometime in July and find out in August that you're pregnant. Um, but... I definitely see here that you are feeling the vibration of the number nine, the frequency of the number nine. So look into the number nine, okay, and it's frequency that it carries, um, and tough cycles are coming to a close for you, okay, this month. So this is beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Okay, so I want to get two messages from the Spirit Baby deck here to see what messages your little one has for you. Okay, what is it that they are going to share with you in August? Or what is it that they want to let you know, okay, how the connection between you two may be in the month of August? Let's see what we have here. For pile number one. Okay, I heard congrats in advance. <laughs> congrats in advance. Okay, so we have... What are your hopes and dreams for me? Mine's are that you are happy, loved, <laughs> and know how much you mean to me. Yeah. So in the month of August, you are going to realize that more and more this month, okay? You're going to really feel the love that your child has for you and feel how happy they want you to be and how much you mean to them. You're going to acknowledge that you are worthy of celebration. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of working with those who are in alignment with your desires and your understanding. You are not wrong is what I'm hearing. Some of you guys have been like, oh my gosh, I was so wrong this whole time. Like, And I went to the doctor and they said, this may be wrong with me and this may be wrong with me and this may be. It's like, we're not embodying the frequency of wrong anymore okay so this is we're leaving this behind and so this is why your baby's like what are your hopes and your dreams okay um focus on that embody that what do you hope for right what is it that you would you want you know spirit is like leave the I, what i don't want we usually say that you know in conversation well i really don't want that to happen or i don't want this i don't what is it that you want okay focus on that Okay, your dreams are becoming a reality, literally. Some of you guys have dreamt of this baby or during the month of August, you are going to connect with this little one through your dreams. They're gonna to come to you a lot around the time of your pregnancy, okay? 
Let's see what else we have here. We may have some Sagittarius goddesses, our fertility gods here, some Leos. Okay. Definitely have these Sagittarius energy, Capricorn and um, Taurus energy, Cancers. Okay. So that can be you or your partner's zodiac sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. We have, you are doing a terrific job healing our generational trauma. I'm so proud of you. Oh, this baby's so proud of you, mama and papa. You guys have really been like, I'm feeling like you guys have been through the ringer. You, this has been, this has been a doozy, okay? Um, and this has been a challenge. Oh my gosh, look, I love to hug you in your dreams, you guys. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, but I really do feel like you guys have been through some things on your journey and you know, your baby's like you have literally look healing our generational trauma. This is like this cycle, this trauma had is ending. Okay. Like you just, this could have been a karmic cycle that you closed out surrounding your fertility journey. And now you're stepping into this, this, this space of ease. Okay. You made it. You made it. <laughs> You literally made it, okay? I'm going to get two more cards, okay? We're going to get one from Hello Baby, and then we're going to get one animal card to end with. And let's see, what is it that you want to tell your mama? This can, um, or papa, this is going to either relate to August or just in regards to your pregnancy in general, okay? Let's see here. Let's see, what do we have coming through for you, Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so we have, you may have some pregnancy complications, but don't worry, I'll be born healthy. Okay, so there may be some ups and downs throughout your pregnancy, some things that you have to go to the doctor for, some extra things or some extra things you may have to get uh, checked out. Some of you guys are going to be spotting during the beginning of your pregnancy. Um, definitely check with your doctor, make sure your progesterone levels are um, adequate or you can even request progesterone. Um, but of course, connect with your doctor. Um, and look, on the bottom of the deck, it says summer is significant. And we, y'all, we're talking about August, okay? We're talking about August, and where I am, it is summer in August, okay? <laughs> it is summer in August. So um, I am definitely feeling that this is relevant to this pile, whether this is um, your summertime or not, okay? I do feel like this is relevant to this pile and the energy that is present. Um, let's see what else we have here. Okay, summer could also be your the birth. If this is not summertime for you right now, this could also be around the time of baby's birth, okay? Let's see what we have here as your last and final message, Spirit. Please give us a final message for my goddesses and my fertility gods for their fertility journey in the month of August 2024. What is there? I feel like these two here. We have B peace. Okay, so the number 21, which is the number three. This is a month of creation. Doves may be significant for you. And we have our bird feathers, especially white feathers. Um, B peace. You're not being told to be at peace. You're you are peace. You are literally peace this month. Okay. And look, time to heal. Number 55, 555. With the snake energy, I am picking up, this is an inner transformation that you have gone through. I don't feel like you are going to, you are going through a healing process, like you're starting or beginning one um, in the month of August. It feels like you are like, this is the last leg. Like this is, you're, you're shedding that skin and it's like on your, the, the tail end of the snake. You know what I mean? Like it's, or whatever, I don't know if it starts at the tail or starts at the head, but it's, it's at the very end of the snake is what it feels like here, um, wherever that last little piece is that needs to come off. And so it's like, it's it's been a process, right? It's been a delicate process. Um, I mean, have you ever seen like snake skin, like a full, like snake skin, like once it's shed, it, like it's skin, it is literally like the one that I've seen, I've only seen like one. <laughs> But it was whole, you know, and like it was just it was perfect. But I know that it probably took some time. Like it looks so delicate and fragile. And so this is exactly what this process has been for you. It's been so transformative. Um, but this is a you are stepping into the space of a rebirth. You are in this rebirth energy. Some of you guys are also there. Your little one that is coming into you, um, coming into you, <laughs> your little one that is literally going to be in your womb. Um, you may have two. OK, we have the two of cups, which could be twins. Some of you guys are going to be conceived twins um but the other thing that i'm feeling here is like this is rebirth energy 
okay like this soul is returning this is a returning soul too okay so uh, this is what i have for you pile number one i hope you enjoyed your reading if you have not joined the family yet make sure you do so by hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it i look forward to connecting with you guys especially one-on-one -on -one. check out all the details in my description box and in the comment section if you're interested in checking in on your energy and the month of august and i'll see you in the next reading Bye. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods who chose pile number two. Welcome to your fertility prediction for the month of August 2024. If you guys skip the intro, I did say this is a collective reading. So if you're interested in getting more accurate prediction, um, predictive messages for your own fertility journey, there are two ways we can work together. One in my VIP Patreon community, or two in our sacred spirit baby conversation or in my sacred spirit, spirit baby conversation session. Um, and the links to those are both in the comment section and in the description box. So let's dive in y'all, okay? This reading is for those of you guys who are trying to conceive or wanting to go um, start your, you know, your TTC journey again. You chose this beautiful, I think this is a Jasper, but I don't know, I forgot what kind of crystal it is, but it is so, I remember I was so attracted to it, okay? Um, some of you guys may be working on manifestation um, rituals during the month of August, or you're being called to do so. I'm also hearing follow your first mind, okay? Follow your first mind. If also synchronicities okay if something keeps popping up it's for a reason or if your attention is you know if something's an attention grabber for you know that that is for a reason your attention is being called for a reason okay um we have a what is that we have three tarot cards here that i'm going to put off to the side because we are going to look at those in a little bit a little bit later um but i want to start off with this energy here i want to see what the overall energy is surrounding your fertility journey in the month of august i'm actually going to read from the book for this card because i want to get like an overview feel of what this energy is here um i do feel like you are going to be um maybe a bit action oriented this month okay some of you guys you may have just recently started trying to conceive this month or you decided to start trying to conceive again um you know i feel like you're you're getting back into things maybe you are starting to feel more attracted to the idea of starting your family or adding on to your family um some of you guys may have gone through a few things okay within your journey to baby i feel like these are emotional and mental things that you may have been healing from and so now you are you know you're like okay you know what let's do this <laughs> you know let's do this i'm ready this this feels right you know and once again spirit is saying like the synchronicities and the ideas that keep popping up and the feelings that you keep having pay attention to those because those are indeed leading you i do feel like a lot of you guys are very intuitive okay um you may also be like um I'm picking up the like psychic energy um healers yourself like you may be a healer um you may also like you may do you know read tarot or use divination tools you know to help others um but i i do feel like you have this this ability to trust yourself more than what you have been trusting yourself so this month you may be trusting yourself more okay you may be like really listening to those nudges and really listening to those those uh, you know like the attraction signs if you will things that are you you're feeling attracted to because i do feel like this is going to provide you with a solution to a problem you've been trying to solve for some time okay um let's see what else we have here we have grateful optimism beautiful it says joyous view of the future yeah and then number 51 so that's six so i do feel like there's a lot of balance and it looks like her hands are right here in front of her womb space and then her heart chakra is like so like it's just so bright her third eye as well some of you guys may be clairvoyant um i am also seeing that she is i feel this energy of being a healer i feel like she may be you know um uh what is it called um not embodying but she may be like uh, a practitioner or going to a practitioner so someone who maybe practice reiki or um is a chiropractor or someone who is like an inner this feels like energy healing okay this feels like moving of energy within the body 
You may also be working on bringing in, bringing your mind and your heart together through the healing as well, okay, in the month of August. Um, I feel like you are once again finding a solution to a problem that you've had for some time and you're actually finding that solution within yourself. This feels very internal to me. Um, and because of that, you are being able to get back on the horse, if you will, you know, but this, this is not a horse. This is a unicorn. Um, I feel like you have this very magical energy about you in the month of August where, like it says here, you are feeling, you are, you have a sense of grateful optimism. Okay. <laughs> where you're very grateful for where you are. Um, you are in the process of accepting, or you have accepted where you are in your journey and you're grateful for that. Um, and I also see that you are a visionary. So you are, you also have a vision of where you are going. So spirit is showing me and what spirit is telling me, because I'm also very clairvoyant, so I'm seeing this, is I see you as like taking action based on your intuitive feelings, but you're not pressuring yourself to do things that you feel um, like this doesn't feel like a pressurized way. It doesn't feel like you are like you may be going to bed and something may come to mind. And instead of you jumping out of bed and being like, oh my gosh, I got to do this right now. I got to go make my tea. You like make a note of it in your phone and you're like, okay, I'll do that tomorrow. You know, like it's kind of like you are being so lenient with yourself. Okay. Um, and this is so needed, you know, and the same thing with your partner. You guys are just being grateful for where you are, showing gratitude for this and being optimistic of what's to come in your future. You're also um, enjoying having conversations. I feel in the month of August, you'll enjoy having conversations with your partner or just having these visions, um, these daydreams, if you will, um, with yourself, okay, um, of your future family. Like these things don't hurt your heart, okay? Like I feel like for someone here, like it was really hard for you to even think about at one point, think about getting pregnant or think about um trying another cycle, you know, with a fear of getting a negative test. And um, I feel like this fear is being healed. I feel like you're transmuting this emotion. You're transmuting this energy. You're turning it into something that is going to work for you. You're turning it into power, okay? Um, and you're embodying that. You may even use that energy to bring in healing into your body, like within your womb space. Some of you guys may need to focus on your womb space. There could be something going on there, okay? And you may be healing yourself from the inside out or working with a practitioner that works with energy, okay? Um, to, like when I saw her hands here, I also thought about, e, what is it called? EFT tapping or EF, is it, is it? EFT, I don't remember what exactly, but like the little tapping methods that bring healing to the body as well, that moves, moves chi, okay, moves the energy within the body. Um, and so I feel that as well. Um, yeah, I can't remember what the tapping is called, but like that little tapping, if you know, you know, okay. <laughs> um, and there's just a lot of equality. Um, is that the word spirit? Equality? There's a, I don't think it's equality. Um, there's a lot of, I guess, kind of like I'm seeing the balancing scales. There's a lot of balance here, but I don't think it's equality is what I'm trying to say, but it sounds more, the word sounds more complicated. I'm not even going to say it because I don't even know if it's a word, but, <laughs> but I do feel like there is a sense of equal, this equilibrium energy. Thank you, Sarah. That's a better word. Equilibrium here. Okay. All right, let's read it. Let's see what number 51 has to say. Um, I feel excited. I, I feel like there is this, so much potential upcoming in the month of August for you and even moving forward, you know, um, even in, further in the future. So we have joyous view of the future. Okay, so it says, the priestess of the cranes looks joyously upon the world. Cranes could be significant for you. Um, and also just by them saying priestess, this is a priestess oracle, but um, this is so far the only card that has said priestess. And so like pointed that out. So definitely feeling like that psychic energy here. You are a healer yourself. You know, you have a very deep connection to the divine. Um, Light radiates from her brow chakra, projecting thoughts of great hope and optimism. Her heart center vibrates with feelings of grace and appreciation. Her hands are held in a um, mudra, or mudra, is it, uh, please forgive me if I'm, mis I'm mispronouncing it one way or the other. A prayerful position at her third chakra where life force energy is generated. Beautiful. So she is, she has it above her, 
her womb space and her third chakra, which is her solar plexus, okay? Um, and this is where life force energy is generated. This card calls you to reignite your enthusiasm for, for your life, to look around and find bright sparks of present joy, to kindle the flames of future hope. One crane faces left, which is the past, while the other is looking right, faces the future. This is a reminder that your appreciation for the present is inextricably connected to your optimism for the future and to the dreams and desires you will achieve. After all, it is difficult to manifest happy results from an ongoing dissatisfaction. <laughs> wow. I'm laughing because this resonates with me so well, and I, and I chose this pile, so... Yeah, I love it. I'm loving it. It says the energetic link between gratitude, optimism, and manifestation is an undeniable force. The gratitude reference in this card is not the same as card 50, which encourages a profound recognition of your very value. This appreciation is more lighthearted, a blissful sighting of all the little experiences that bring joy to your life. Once you frame more happy perceptions of the past and present, you can look to the future with equally joyous expectations. Your grateful optimism will project such vibrant visions of the future that the universe will be compelled to respond. <laughs> so lift your perceptions, elevating your outlook on the wings of the white crane. Feel the joy and optimism expanding your being, rippling outward into the skies of unlimited potential. You will soon find that great luck of crane energy bringing you all the prosperity, grace, and good health that you have chosen to be optimistic about. Your affirmation, goddess, is I recognize and appreciate all the little joys that I've been blessed with. I look to the future with happy expectations. So I want you to put in the comments down below, I look to the future with happy expectations, or you can put a yellow heart or a sunshine emoji to let me know that this was your pile and that you are choosing to look to the future with happy expectations and that you recognize and appreciate all the little joys that you've been blessed with. So I'm gonna share fairly quickly with you how I have, um, how I, how I, like, how this resonates with me, okay? Like, literally last night, like, literally, okay? I came to the, early this morning as I was going to bed, I came to the conclusion <laughs> um, that I had a breakthrough. And I ha was discussing with my fiance. I said, oh my gosh, we have experienced so many things in our life that um, were joyous events, but we chose not to allow others to celebrate us. And I spoke to him how this realization made me realize that this void that I had, like, uh, how do I say this spirit? Um, okay, let me break it down like this. You guys understand when you're trying to conceive, if you've been on a journey for a while and someone else gets pregnant, it's so hard to be happy for another person, right? It's so hard to celebrate them. It's so hard to go to the baby shower and the blah, 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 all this stuff, right? Because you not are, you know, mad at them or, or you don't, you're not happy for them. You're frustrated with the journey. You may be envious, right? Um, you may be mad at yourself, right? Um, and why is that though? What is the energy that's surrounding that? The energy that is surrounding them is celebration. And the energy that is surrounding you is disappointment, right? The opposite. We're not celebrating you. We're disappointed in you. But no one has actually told you that. You've just felt that for yourself. So I realized that the reason I was feeling that way, I was feeling so frustrated, you know, not really eager and excited to go to baby showers. And, you know, because I was like doom and gloom on myself, I even manifested horrible things into my life around the time of baby shower events and other events involving children that did not inv involve me. Like I came to this conclusion. Okay, y'all, like I realized that I had met around certain times I manifested certain things out in my into my life because I didn't want to go to these events. Um, but the reason the whole reason was because I was filling the void of celebration. The void there is celebration. So how do you fill that void? You celebrate. You choose to invite the energy of celebration. Getting pregnant is such a joyous event, right? Getting a negative pregnancy test, well, if you're trying to, of course, getting a negative pregnancy test when you're trying to is not. It's a fail, right? It feels like a fail, like you failed at something. So you're not going to celebrate that. 
But if you choose to celebrate no matter what, or if you choose to celebrate yourself for something else, okay, maybe because you had an amazing week, or maybe because you chose to do something over something else, right? You're celebrating. It doesn't matter. As long as you invite in the energy of celebration, you will not fill that void. You'll actually fill the void, right? You will fill what has been missing. And therefore, you will choose to celebrate others, or at least it'll be easier. And little by little, step by step, it'll get easier. So I came to that conclusion last night and I realized that I let that feeling that the void of celebration trickle into other aspects of me and my fiance's life. Like when we got engaged, we didn't have an engagement party. Like everyone wanted to celebrate with us. They're like, when's the party? When's the party? When's celebration? When's da, 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 da? We didn't, we never had one. We never had one. We started planning it and we stopped. We were, the, we made up excuses as to why we couldn't move forward with it. And I realized that we were self-sabotaging our happiness, our joy, because we have been trying to conceive. And I mean, if you can't celebrate that, then what's the point, right? That is where I was at. So it was such a breakthrough for me last night or early this morning. And I said, you know what? I am choosing to celebrate. And I told him, I'm like, we're going to have a, we're going to have an engagement party. We're going to have a housewarming party. We've been here for like over a year now, but who cares? We're going to have better late than never. You know, we, all these different things where people wanted to celebrate us, we turned them down. Because we were so set on not celebrating because we had not yet, we were pouting. We had not yet received what we wanted. But so we sabotaged ourselves. So I said, this is why we're struggling <laughs> in certain areas because we're sabotaging ourselves. So it was such a breakthrough. And what I feel here, pile number two, is I feel that resonates with you guys. I feel like you are going to have a breakthrough in the month of August where you're going to realize where this void is for you. You are going to figure out that problem. That is the problem. That is the solution, okay? Once you figure out the problem, you're going to find a solution fairly easy, easily. You are going to be like, oh my gosh, I've been feeling this way. Maybe it's the same thing as me. Maybe you've been self-sabotaging yourself around celebration. And maybe you have little celebrations here and there about uh, other things, you know. Or maybe it has been like us, me and my partner, where things have snow. It has snowballed into other parts of our lives. Now it's not just about baby showers and, and baby events, but it's like birthday parties and, um, you know, like the our engagement. And then we started planning our wedding and we stopped and then we moved and we, we were, you know, everyone's asking when we're going to have a housewarming party and we never did. Like we self-sabotage, we sabotage ourselves. And so you guys may realize where this void is here surrounding you, within you, and you are bringing healing to that. You are filling, you are refilling your cup in whatever this is. Your void may be around celebration. It may be around joy. It may be around love. It may be around fulfill, fulfillment of material items, of emotional things, of mental things, whatever it is, it's going to be different for all of you guys. Okay. But whatever it is, it is, a, it has been a blockage in your, it has been creating this such an imbalance in your journey that it is manifested within your body. Okay, it is literally manifested in your body. And maybe it was within your body first and then it manifested outwards, right? But now since you and your body have been on this, you know, you guys have your your environment and your body has been on this like teeter-totter here. It's like, okay, no, you go. You be in balance. No, you be in balance. No, you be in balance. It's like, we need this right here, but we need this right here to be in the space of fulfillment, not of lack. Okay, so that was a breakthrough right there for somebody. You're realizing that you are self-sabotaging self yourself into the energy of lack. And you're saying no more in the month of August. You're saying no more. Okay, healing is happening. Healing is happening in the month of August for you guys. Okay, and I also feel like because of this healing, you now have are you are able to see i'm hearing i can see clearly now okay like i i feel like you can see clearly now you can you can hope for the future and it doesn't matter when it comes because you're no longer feeling a void you don't feel like you're missing something you don't feel like your baby and let me let me clue you in and spirit is cluing me in right now too and i can literally cry because spirit is saying, you thought that baby was going to fill that void and that baby was not going to fill that void because your void had nothing to do with that child. Nothing. It had everything to do with you. 
everything. So some of you guys feel empty because you don't have your baby yet. Okay, and in this month, this changes. It changes, you no longer feel that way. You feel fulfilled, you choose happiness. Okay, you choose whatever, travel, whatever it is you feel like you have been missing out on, do it, okay? And through that, like the message said in the book, the universe has no choice but to respond, okay? Through your manifestation, if you choose to celebrate other areas in your life, spirit is going to give you more things to celebrate, like your child, okay? I mean, I can go on and on about this, but I'm not because it's going to be an hour reading. So, <laughs> so we're going to stop there with that message, but I am going to flip over these cards here because I want to see what else you can expect, okay, in the month of August. Let's see, I think I can push this over a little bit more here. Let me just double check. But I think I'm good there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so, oh, and I just saw 222, you guys. It was like literally when I checked the time, it was 20 minutes in and 20 minutes and 22 seconds in. So Spirit is telling me to say exactly what that statement was. So let me look in the book really quickly about the universe responding. It says, um... The energetic link between gratitude, optimism, and manifestation is an undeniable force, okay? So it's like, let me see. Um, it says your grateful optimism will project such vibrant visions of the future that the universe will be compelled to respond, okay? So I'm also picking up two, you guys, for this pile, working with, once again, that you're a magician, okay? Like I said in the beginning, I felt this energy of manifestation. Um, for you guys, you're meant to manifest this little one, and I feel like you're meant to manifest them through visual things. So this is like um, having physical items. Maybe you've seen physical items that you have for your child on a daily basis, and when you see that, project the energy of love and the energy of optimism, the energy of hope instead of frustration, and like don't have it there as like a, comp you know, like a reward don't make it a reward like oh yes I get to touch this and I get to put this on my child once I get pregnant don't no don't um not tease what is that word spirit it's like don't like uh punish yourself okay like don't punish yourself by having the physical item and look at it and be like oh I'm still not pregnant you know don't do that if you feel like you're going to do that, then don't even set yourself up for that. But if you feel like you can see a physical item that you have for your child, a onesie, a, a little um, beanie or some little booties or a pacifier or a stuffed animal, if you feel like you can get that physical item and connect with it on a weekly or even a daily basis and just show so much appreciation and love for it and hold it and hug it, put it across your heart and like you're like you're holding your child in that moment. If you feel like you can do that, then do that. That is so powerful for you, okay? Because that's you using your vision. It's also using so many other um, manifestation techniques. But I also feel like um, if you don't want to do anything physical, you can also just visualize, okay? Visualize if you're if you're clairvoyant, you can visualize the future through meditation, um, I recommend. And then, or the third option that I'm hearing is creating a vision board, okay? So cutting out, um, printing out, cutting out, um, different pictures that you feel like your child is going to look like. You can even get a reading um, where you may be told what the, your child's traits are and you can find pictures that look like your child. You may even know what your child looks like through your own visions. Maybe they visit it in your dreams and you have an idea of what their skin color will be, their eye color, their hair texture, and print out babies that look like them. Put it on a vision board. Um, print out baby shower photos, you know, pictures where you may want your baby shower to look like. Um, if you have a do like a one side boy, one side girl, so or do a neutral thing if you want to do neutral. Um, you know, start celebrating now, you know, and create that vision board. And when you look at that vision board, um, you know, get happy, get happy and know that that is your life. Not one day, but today. Okay. My goodness. Okay, let's see what else Spirit has to say. Like I said, I can go on and on. So let's see what else we have. We have the full. Yes, 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 yes. I love it. Okay? The full energy is a new beginning. This is you taking a leap of faith. This is you leaping off the cliff. This is you saying, 
uh, sayonara, you know, goodbye, adios, you know, I'm out of here. Like, I am no longer going to be a part of that world because this is my world over here. You know, I'm only taking what it is that brings me joy. I'm only taking the ideas and the thoughts that create optimism in my life. You know, you are definitely in the month of August stepping into a brand new phase in your journey. It literally says here, you're embarking on a new chapter in your journey to baby. This is a time for you to be spontaneous, flexible, and adaptable. Be open to new possibilities and different approaches to conception. Stay optimistic and take care of your health. Yes, okay, so <laughs> we touched on a lot of those things, if not all of them already. Um, we also have possible pregnancy, okay? And I definitely feel like, you know, in this new phase of your journey, there is pregnancy incoming for you, okay? The magician, you guys. I have not seen these cards. And I'm in shock, okay? Zero, one, okay? Like, boom, boom. We are, like, taking the first steps, you guys. This is, we are creating alignment. Alignment is happening in the month of August for you. Some of you guys are manifesting this baby fairly quickly, okay? Like, you are manifesting this child maybe within the next month, okay? Virgo season could be significant, okay? You could be a Virgo, Gemini, or Aquarius, Okay, or those can be like your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs, or for you or your partner. Quick changes are happening in the month of August. It says the ability to manifest a baby through focused intention, willpower, and perseverance. You have everything you need to be resourceful. And this is what you're understanding. You're figuring this out in the month of August. You are understanding that everything that you need resides within you. You don't need to look outside of yourself because you are the magician. You are the healer. Okay, and something that I've been saying, sharing with my goddesses recently and something that has been coming to me so frequently is physician heal thyself. You can heal yourself. You are healing yourself, okay? Um, it says you have everything you need to be resourceful, proactive, creative, and innovative. Have confidence in your ability to overcome challenges. There is power in mind, body, and spirit connection. Yeah, you are also meant to work with holistic approaches in the month of August to welcome in this pregnancy. And then we have the hanged man. Yes. Oh, beautiful energy here, guys. And two plus one is three. <laughs> so look at this. We have zero, one, one, two, and then we add those and we have three. So you are taking the, the needed steps, okay, the steps needed for this pregnancy to happen. Um, I am seeing that you are meant to manifest this child into your life. Okay, um, through your abilities, your clairs, okay, definitely through the, the sense of clairvoyance. Um, but if you have other abilities that are stronger, definitely connect with those. You are the magician, okay, you have all the tools that, tools that you need. And I feel like this pregnancy manifests into your life through this shift in perspective that we just literally talked about this whole time. You having a different, it says, adopt a different mindset or approach to in order to overcome challenges. Okay, in the month of August, you are going to be making sacrifices and letting go of certain expectations or desires that you have had in the past in order for you to move forward. You are deciding to embark, move forward, okay, with the energy of enlightenment through surrender. You are also in this space of accepting where you are in your journey. And I could have sworn I said that, okay, I may have said that. I don't know if it's this pile or the last pile, but this is something that you are also doing as well. You're saying, you know what, this is where I am and I am happy with my life. Okay, beautiful. I choose to be grateful. I cho choose to be happy. Let's see what else we have here. Clarify the fool. Okay, clarify the fool. We have the six of cups. Beautiful energy. So we have children energy here with the fool. So there's definitely a new beginning surrounding children happening in the month of August for you. What I feel here is that you are starting to play, be more playful. I feel like you are stepping into the space of more being more playful in your journey to baby in the month of August. You are no longer making things rigid and structured and I have to do, right? Like I said, you're more relaxed with yourself. You're not putting that pressure upon yourself, okay? Um, it says here, remain carefree as you allow your past to go 
your past to guide you down new paths. You are also taking some time to reflect on your past, I feel here. Um, and when I say reflect on your past, this kind of feels like you are stepping back into that old vision you used to have of your fertility journey or of your, few, I'm sorry, not even of your journey, but of your pregnancy and of your growing family and of your children. The vision you used to hold on to when you first started trying to conceive and you realized that, you know, this is what you were, this is where you were headed. When you first made the decision that you wanted to have a baby or you wanted to have another baby and that excitement that you felt right that that like oh my gosh that jittery feeling like oh my gosh I'm gonna be a mom or like that jittery feeling of like oh my gosh we're adding another baby to the family I can only I can only imagine them interacting with their siblings you know like that type of energy spirit wants you to reflect on that spirit wants you to remember how happy you were when you know when you started looking on on Amazon and Pinterest and like you know planning out the baby shower and the the um, gender reveal items and the pregnancy announcement items like get excited again about your journey to baby okay we also have a time for children beautiful okay spirit clarify this magician this magician energy yeah you are you know changing your the way that you think about your um your future okay the outcome of your journey you are you're becoming um what is it called hopeful again which is beautiful, a beautiful energy to be in. We have a king of wands with the magician, okay? Literally, it says holistic healing or healer, <laughs> okay? So you are definitely healing your body fairly quickly, shall I say, through holistic healing. So this is like through mind, body, uh, mind, body, and soul approaches. Um, I also feel like, you know, you may be using some natural remedies, possibly. Some of you guys may be drinking teas. You may be using oils. Um, you may be taking certain supplements to help um, to prepare your body for pregnancy or to help get pregnant. I'm sorry, you're not preparing. You are getting pregnant. It. Um, and so you are also realizing here you're taking charge, okay? Through you taking charge with this King of Wands energy, you are realizing that you have what it takes to succeed in your journey, okay? You're like, I'm going to stay true to myself and embrace my own personal power and sense of boldness. I am meant to become a mom. I am meant to conceive this baby, okay? Um, so you're being called to move forward with confidence and a positive mindset. This is going to play a crucial role in your journey. It says, explore a holistic mind, body, and soul approach. This is a time for creative solutions. Didn't I say that in the beginning? You are finding a solution to your problem. Take the lead and hold true to your vision, you guys. Your vision is going to manifest this pregnancy and for you, okay? I'm strongly picking up. We have Virgo season coming in very heavily here. I also kind of pick up the next six months, okay? Um, so six months from August, that's what? August, so August, September, October, November, December, January. And I'm also seeing Aquarius energy here. So it could be through Aquarius season too. Some of you guys may be conceiving around that time or finding out you're pregnant. Like I'm saying, give. I'm hearing give it six months. Give it six months because the, the it's like you are going through this whole massive shift in terms of your perspective and the way things are going in your journey. And so Spirit is like, give it some time. There's no rush. Actually, Spirit is giving you time to enjoy life because I feel like a lot of you guys have put some things on the back burner, you know, and Spirit is giving you time to like really play these things out. Okay. But I do want to say we have the manifestation energy here. We have the, the, the magician quick energy. So this is quick pregnancy incoming. So six months or less. So if you want to travel, if you plan on, you know, like we were like, we're going to have a, a housewarming party. It doesn't matter how long it's been. We're going to, you know, have an engagement party. It doesn't matter. Do these things. Like, don't just talk about them. Do them. Okay. Take initiative here. So we're just giving you a little bit of time, but only a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we have here. That was too many cards. There. Just give me one, please, to clarify the hangman energy. Clarify the hangman energy for the month of August. There. What do we have here for Paul 2? We have a seven of cups. Yeah, so you are surrendering the, yeah, so, okay, a lot of you guys felt so confused because you were like, you were stalled by options, okay? So, like, you were stuck in place 
because you were like, I don't even know if I need to go left, right, back, forward. Like, what do I do to get my desire? Like, you felt so stuck. But it's because you had your feet in quicksand, okay? Spirit is showing me you were stuck in mud. And literally, that mud was sinking, pulling you in more and more and more and more. And you were never going to get to your desire because you weren't taking action, right? You were There was a whole lot of decision-making needing to be done. Or you were taking action, but you didn't feel confident in it. You didn't. It was too much going on externally when everything needed to happen internally for you. Okay, and so now that you have this shift in your perspective, now that you understand what's truly going on, you've figured out the problem, you found a creative solution for this problem, like you are checking in with yourself, okay? It literally says here, check in with yourself. Are your plans realistic for your future or long-term? Like, it literally says joyous view of the future. Like, I cannot make this up, y'all. Like, you are being called in this moment, in the month of August, the way your perspective is shifting is that you're checking in with yourself before you do things. How does this feel? Is this going to support my healing? Okay, or am I going back into that old habit, that old way of thinking, that old way of feeling? And then when you do, because it's gonna happen, you're gonna be like, okay, what am I missing right now? What void, what emotion am I missing? Because feeling is everything. Feeling is creation. So you're going to be like, what void am I filling right now? Because it's not my child. There's no way I could fill the void of my child because my child is pure love. My child is happiness. My child is optimism, right? Like this is this is what they carry. This is the energy they carry. They're, they, they're, there's no way. But I am missing something else. So what is it? And this is when you check in with yourself, okay? It says, explore different options and choose the most grounded and practical approach after careful consideration and research. Be aware of taking on too much. Yeah, you're freeing yourself this month. And because of that, there are quick changes happening in your journey to baby where things are unraveling that once like seemed impossible. Okay, ah, this is beautiful, beautiful. Some of you guys also have a deep connection with your baby from the, like a past life connection. Okay, let's get, um, yeah, let's get, oh, you know what? Let's use the Spirit Baby Messages of Love deck, okay? So let's get two messages from your baby here. This may align with Leo season or with um, August, or it could just be messages your little one wants you to know at this time. We have, we will be a great team. I don't expect you to be perfect. Please just love me for who I am. Yes, beautiful. Your baby just wants you to love them for who you who they are, but also love you for who you are. You don't have to be perfect. Everything in your journey doesn't have to be perfect. Life doesn't have to be perfect. It's not perfect, right? Everyone has a different definition of perfect. But you are meant to love your life. Okay, so love your life. We also have, I would like to go on outings. We are going to have so much fun together. Yes, baby's like, mama, have fun. Daddy, have fun. Also, I'm picking up the energy of the going on outings. Like, go outside. Spend some time in nature. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see what else we have here coming through from baby. We're going to use the Hello Baby deck to get a couple of messages here. Let's see. What is it that you want to share with your mama or your papa about yourself or about the pregnancy, about the birth, whatever it may be? We have vaginal delivery. Okay, so some of you guys are going to give, be giving birth to this little one naturally. I also feel a lot of natural energy here. Like I said, natural healing, working with energy healers. Um, you may want to like have like a non-medicated birth, okay? Maybe even like a home birth even, okay? Um, but I'm seeing vaginal delivery for this pile. Of course, this won't be for everyone, but for the collective energy. And let's get one more here. We have hospital birth, okay? So some of you guys will be giving, having a vaginal birth in the hospital. So some of you guys are wondering that. Um, that's what I'm seeing as far as this goes, okay? And let's get your last message. This is going to be your last message for the month of August. What spirit wants you to know about your fertility journey, what you can expect, or maybe even a little bit of motivation or empowerment to help you get to where you want to be. Okay, let's see what we have here. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have boys too, by the way. Okay, but we have koala spirit, 
Spirit has a plan. The number eight. Yes, you are living in a space of abundance, okay? Spirit has a plan. And on the bottom of the deck, it literally says, take a leap of faith. And that's what it says here, leap of faith, okay? So Spirit has a plan. Jump. Jump into the divine's arms, okay? They're going to catch you. Trust in the divine plan here. Beautiful. And just have fun, okay, you guys? In August, have fun. Have fun. Find where the void is, fill the, fill the void, and have fun doing it. All right, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods, I hope you loved this reading as much as I did. It definitely resonated with me. I hope it resonated with you as well. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love, light, and of course, baby dust. And if you have not joined the family, make sure you subscribe and hit the thumbs up. If you want a personal reading, all the details for that is down below in the description box as well as in the comment section. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hello, my beautiful fertility goddesses and my fertility gods who chose pile number three for your August 2024 fertility prediction reading. Welcome to your pile. Now, I did say in the intro, just in case you skipped it, that this is a collective message, meaning that everything in this pile may not resonate with you. Um, if nothing resonates, then maybe you want to select another pile or one of my other pick a card readings or better yet, book a personal session that is going to be so much more accurate for you. Okay. And your journey. Now there are two different ways that you can do so. One, you can join our VIP baby desk community on Patreon where you have access to all of my mini sessions and 20% off of all of my sessions using a special discount code every single month. Or you can book my Sacred Spirit Baby Conversations, which we go through so much in that. I won't go through it now. <laughs> um, but you can find the details for both of those things in the description box as well as in the comment section, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Now, first of all, what I'm hearing for pile number three is that this is going to be a month like no other, okay? I'm hearing there are some um, differences, some changes. I, I heard differences and then I started hearing the song Differences by Genuine, okay? Um, my whole life has changed, okay? So um, since you came in, um, I knew back then you were a special one. Okay, so I'm, I'm really picking up from those lyrics that there may be some things coming in in regards to your past your past affecting your present, okay? Um, I feel like it's something about, ooh, Spirit is saying this might not even be in regards to your past. This feels like it's the inner, it's a deep sense of inner knowing. It's almost like you knew that this was going to happen or there was this shift was eventually going to happen. This change was upcoming, something like that, okay? Like you knew, like you just had this feeling. You're, it's, it's almost like whatever's going to happen this month for you in your journey, you're like, I knew this was going to happen or I knew this was coming up. Like you just had this feeling. Um, you may actually get, um, have premonitions, okay? That may be something that you have as a gift um, or you may be um, a prophet or you have prophetic dreams, okay? Um, but there's something here or maybe someone may have told you something and then this feels like internal. This feels like, because I was going to say maybe someone told you something and then you were like, nah, like I feel like it's going to be this, okay? Like um, this almost feels like when someone's pregnant and they just know they're going to have a girl and then they find out that they're having a girl. Like it's like you just have this deep inner knowing um, and I feel like whatever this is, there's this truth is coming out here in the month of August, okay? Where you are going to be basically proved right. Um, and because of this, there's going to be this massive change. I'm hearing like a month like no other, okay? There's going to be a massive shift, whether it's energetically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, or physically, it'll be different for everybody. And I'll also kind of get an I better idea as I look at the, the messages here. Now, this crystal is also different. You guys chose a fluorite, okay, which is a sphere. It is the only sphere crystal that I have, okay? So it is indeed very, very, very unique. I'm trying to put it here. Hopefully it'll stay. Um, it's very, very unique. Okay. It's a very unique, unique crystal for me. Um, and just in general, right? You kind of find like different shaped crystals. You have the raw crystals, you have the, like the concave, you have the, um, all the different ones, the tumbled stones, which are the most common. And then you have ones that are like literally shaped into things. And this is like a shaped crystal here into a sphere. So purposely. 
So I also pick up that energy too. Something is purposely done this month. You may be um, intentionally taking action on a specific aspect of your journey, or you may um, intentionally, yeah, I feel like you like, there's this, there's this energy of determination, okay, where, um, where either it's current in this month or it's something that you have been working towards that now you are going to see the fruits of your labor in this month, okay? Um, I'm also hearing the word blended. So you guys, so you may have a blended family or be a part of a blended family or things may, there may be something blending together this month. You may also be using a blender, okay? Maybe you are drinking smoothies um, or you're being called to like um, drink smoothies or um, I'm hearing fruit smoothies um, or what's that other thing? Juicing, <laughs> juicing. Okay, Spirit's also showing me juicing too. So those may be significant for you or your partner. Um, maybe you guys are like taking care of your health or you have been taking care of your health and, and it involves like your diet or something, okay? Or you've been feeling this this inner knowing, like maybe I should do this in terms of my diet and maybe I should do that. This is your call to like follow through with that. Okay, so let's see what, what August has to say. We have three tarot cards present um, and I'm gonna leave those off to the side here. You have three, yeah, yeah, you guys have three. Um, and I'm gonna put them here for now. And then we're going to look at this energy and I'm going to read the book for this to see what spirit wants to say specifically about this energy over the month of August. We have miracles. <gasps> you guys, I have not seen these cards. Okay. Ah, my gosh. The alignment. This is crazy. So 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's the number 12 that's present that's the number three this is a number of creation i'm seeing a seed being here the seed may be planted inside of your womb or this is a seed that is being planted inside of your mental garden okay like in your subconscious um a seed that has been planted in the past is now blooming blossoming like i was saying prior definitely there is a miracle happening this month for you this feels like a miraculous month for you and it stems from like it says here ancient wisdom i don't know if you guys can see that it's such a beautiful card um but it stems from like ancient wisdom and um there's like a looks like a hawk on top of her head or something almost looks like a nest i'm also looking at like the background right here the trees these these kind of remind me of like i'm looking this looks like um like I don't know why I'm thinking about the placenta or something, okay? So there's there's something about um nutrients, I feel. We which we were talking about nutrients, but I feel like there's something about like feeding, okay, like feeding. So your soul, there's something about feeding your soul or whatever is happening this month, it's 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 nourishing your journey, okay? Um and like I said, it's stemming. It feels like it's stemming from this ancient seed of this this seed that carries ancient wisdom within you. This deep inner knowing. Like I said, I feel like this is something in regards to um, like it, it could be from your ancestors, okay, your lineage, something that may have been traditional in your family as well. Maybe you're starting to move forward with certain traditions, okay, or you're creating your own. Um, but there's some ancient wisdom that it's like you just have this. You just knew that if you did this this was going to help you get pregnant. Like, that's what it feels like. Like, I just know if I do this, but maybe you were pushing it off because you were trying to follow what everybody else was saying. You know, you were listening to all the guidance and the advice. And it's like this month, you're like, I am listening to myself. I just know, I just have this feeling. And you may be telling your partner, like, I have this feeling, you know, or I have this feeling I'm pregnant or I'm have, I have this feeling this is a month, you know, like you have this feeling this month and spirit is really wanting you to move forward with, um, that feeling, pursue that feeling because you are definitely um, not having it for no reason, okay? Like, I know that's such a double negative, but there's a reason why you are having this feeling is what Spirit is saying. And I want to see where I'm at so I know where to be. Perfect, perfect. All right, so let's read number 39. Now let's see what it says here. The number 808 may be significant for you or 666 or 888. Okay, let's see what we have for the number 39 to be significant as well. That could be someone's age. Let's see what we have. 39, 39, 39, 39. I don't know why I felt like I needed to go through all the pages to get to 39. Um, it took me a couple of pages. Uh, like I turned a couple of pages before I was like, wait, I can just skip all of this. So I feel that's significant, you guys, um, because I paid attention to it. So, and I was like, okay, 33, 34, 35. And it's like, I was, I was going through it and then I'm like, 
uh, you know, when am I going to get there? Um, and so I feel like some of you guys may be feeling this way too. Like in your past, you may have been feeling like, when am I going to get there? You know, when is this going to happen? Um, and you may have been hearing about, you know, this is my divine timing pal. It feels like, like divine timing and divine timing is going to divine. And you're like, how much more do I have to do in order for divine timing to align with my journey? You know? Um, and so this is, this is your miracle here. It's what I feel here coming in. This is what you have been waiting for. Um, so we have the high priestess of ancient societies holds a spark of healing consciousness between her fingers, gathering the energy of the heavens above and connecting it to the resonance of the earth below. Serenely focuses, serenely focused, she aligns these powerful frequencies with the unseen vibrations of universal intention. Very much so moving intentionally this month, you guys. Okay. She is the priestess of mysteries representing miracles, divinity, and magical wisdom and power. You have a gift of deep inner knowing, okay? I think that is claircognizance when you just have this deep inner knowing, okay? But you have that gift, so listen to it. And it almost bothers you when you don't. Like if someone is going against you or you're going against yourself, it, it bothers you, okay? Um, it says ancient societies vibrated at a frequency powerful enough to build miraculous structures, including the great pyramids of Egypt and the singular stone ob obelisk, obelisk, arranged in formations designed to direct massive amounts of energy. They revealed the magical feats achievable by harnessing the power of ancient wisdom and inner knowing. <laughs> oh my God. This card tells you that you now have the ability to approach your life in this profoundly aligned way. You are moving into a time where miracles, when miracles of every nature can be manifested. In fact, they are your birthright. Okay? So I want you to put in the comments, this miracle is my birthright. Okay? This miracle is my birthright. Great accomplishments are yours. When you let go of the striving, yes, it was like you were tired of doing. You're like, I'm doing, 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 but where it's like I'm striving. Like you were doing things outside of yourself when all the all along you have this internal urge or nudge, you know, and this month you're feeling it even more as you go into this Leo season energy or as we are in this Leo season energy, going into Virgo season, there's a lot of collaboration surrounding like stability, Stability from um, creating stability within self from a sense from following a passion and sense of confidence. Okay, like you have this strong passion and urge within you to remain confident or to move confidently in all that you do based on what your inner knowing is telling you. And by you doing that, you are creating this strong sense of stability within yourself, which is all you need here moving forward. Okay, this is what I feel. It says, um, let's see, I'm going to reread this, I think. It says, great accomplishments are yours when you let go of the striving and open yourself to the ancient wisdom, qu quietly filtering through the part, through that part of your consciousness connected to eternal truths. Blue Reiki light radiates around this medicine woman, indicating that these upcoming miracles may include healing. You have the wisdom to reestablish order and balance in your physical, mental, and emotional life. This is a reminder to engage in sacred physical practices such as yoga, dance, tai, tai, uh, tai chi, qigong, or walking in nature, as well as sacred mindful practices such as meditation and prayer. Focus and serenity will, will power your consciousness creation as you journey deep into your inner knowing. You are a seer and great manifester. Your own ancient wisdom will unlock the door to life-changing miracles. <laughs> Beautiful, okay? Your affirmation at the bottom of this uh, card says, I receive and accept the wisdom and power of ancient societies. Truly, ex truly exciting miracles are appearing in my life. And I'm having a hard time talking. But truly exciting miracles are appearing in my life. So you can either say, this miracle is my birthright in the comments, or you can say truly exciting miracles are appearing in my life, or you can say both, okay? Claim them. 
this is your miracle goddess okay like i said you have this deep inner sense of knowing that comes to you from your your lineage okay your lineage has been speaking to you and i'm also picking up like not even just your lineage but also those who have associated with those within your lineage so what i'm picking up is like okay maybe you know maybe your great 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 um grandfather was a seer and then he had a friend who was like a, a different type of healer, okay? Like a healer of a different sort. That soul is also supporting you. Like your grand, great, 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 great grandfather's friend, okay? Like you have a huge community of people. And I'm hearing like this is, this is for some of you guys, this is this stemming from good karma, okay? This is like um, a re the release of karmic debt or um, the healing of karmic debt um could be good just good karma within your lineage but it's almost like there's like someone it feels what it feels like to me is like someone owes someone something you know but it's like i want to i want to thank you and so i'm going to go ahead and um provide you of this provide you with this service okay now this can also be here on the physical that i'm feeling too someone here okay you guys may have done a favor for somebody um and you are going to find in the month of august that this person is going to reach out to you or if you reach out to them for the favor or for a favor they are going to happily support you in the way that you need because you have supported them in the past okay um and this also reminds me of the message of like you know all that you have done up until this point is leading to your success because it's like you have done so much you have put so much effort so much energy into your journey to baby that now this is a time where things are the seeds are blossoming right because you've nurtured them <laughs> i heard you've nurtured the heck out of them you know um and you've done so much for yourself that the only option you have to do is heal the only way from here is up okay like this is what i'm feeling so you are to expect miraculous healings this month within your fertility journey okay beautiful and this is from you connecting with those within your inner circle and also from those from within yourself okay just within with your with yourself okay um not from those within yourself but just from well 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 pause 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 i said with those from within yourself that could be your baby okay so your spirit baby is also guiding you on this journey of course but they're coming through very strong in this reading where in august they may be more prominent in your life um these this inner guidance that you're receiving these could be messages that you receive from your little one telepathically okay um or in your visions or um like just like these prophetic messages like these are maybe coming through from your spirit baby okay so um so they're like from within within you mama okay it's me <laughs> i love it especially because we're talking about seeds here okay um the number 12 the number three creation with the seed i definitely feel like there could be some goddesses in this pile who are going to be conceiving this month okay i do feel this strong sense of conception and if it's not conception of like in terms of baby, in terms of pregnancy, I do feel like you are conceiving something. You are creating something new this month, okay? Creation is all around you is what I feel. So let's see what Spirit has to say in regards to what you can expect in the month of August 2024. I almost said July 2024. So some of you guys, um, the seed was planted or you started to feel or notice the first like... Um, I heard the first dropping, so I don't know what that represents, but like, it's like you started to notice like, um, I'm getting like the, the excitement of like when people are like, oh my gosh, this is the first snow of winter, you know, like this is the first snowfall, like stuff like that. Like it feels like you started to really um, start to recognize the changes that you were experiencing or that were incoming into your journey maybe in July, okay? So you may have noticed a difference in, in shift in energy this month, or you may have started to get um, downloads. Some of you guys are channeling messages in from your, your guides, okay? Your ancestors, um, from ancient wisdom, inner, inner knowing, deep inner knowing. Um, and I feel like this is something that you have been able to implement possibly in July, or if not July, you will be implementing in August, okay? Um, let's see, Spirit, what is going on? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys have been waiting for some time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is a new look at that. 
So you are, yeah, you guys have been working so hard in your journey to baby. You have been waiting to see the fruits of your labor. And I feel like this month you are finally being like told you're receiving some sort of good news or you are receiving um, like a, an outcome of, of celebration. It feels like an outcome of um, like something to celebrate, something to be um, joy, like not only say joyous about, um, but something to be. What I want to say was grateful for, but you know, of course, express gratitude. Expressing gratitude in all situations is is key. But I feel for you guys. This is something that you're going to like jump up and down about. Be so excited, like finally, type of energy. I also feel like there's this energy here of you know, you guys doing things differently this month, right? You're realizing, you're reflecting. You're like, you know, okay, I did all of this. Here are the seeds you planted, you know, and you've gotten your mini harvest here. Um, and you know, you've made, you've, t you've taken action so many times. You've, you know, cycle after cycle, you've put in so much energy, time and effort into your journey to baby. And it's just like, you know, you were waiting for that break. And I feel like you guys are receiving a breakthrough this month. Okay. I feel like there's a breakthrough incoming. Um, I feel like you guys are finally going to be on the top of the mountain looking down versus still looking at you know, going up the side of the mountain, wondering when you're going to get there. Okay. That's what it feels like to me. Um, and I really do feel like there is this very strong energy here surrounding family. Okay. This could be growth within family, but I want to ask spirit for clarification first before I move forward with it. So spirit, can you clarify this seven of pentacles here for me? What are we experiencing in the month of August with the seven of pentacles energy spirit pound number three? What are we experiencing? I'm hearing, you know, we are looking back on past investments and we are seeing, you know, what has been working for us, what hasn't, what has been draining my energy. We're reevaluating that, you know, um, we may even be having a conversation with our partner about, you know, what I want to move forward with and what I don't want to move forward with. Um, and, you know, that's going to really give you this new spark of life, this new spark of intention, right? We're moving intentionally. We're not just throwing things at the wall, hoping that it sticks. Um, I recently heard somebody say, you know, they were like, my new favorite saying, instead of like throwing things at the wall and hoping that it sticks, you're, uh, she said, um, she was like, it's like when you do that, it's like, um, what did she say? She used the analogy of the airplane and she said, um, that's like, oh, no, she said she used the analogy of driving blind. She's like, it's like driving blind. Like, you're going to get someplace, but you don't know where you're going to get. And you don't even know if you're going to, you know, like what, what you're going, where you're going, you know, like you're driving blind. You're sitting in the, in the, get in the car, and you're, you're blind and you're like, you put a blindfold on or whatever and you're driving and you're going to get someplace, right? But it may just be like, droop, right into a pole or whatever, you know, but you're, you're not going to get to your destination. And so, um, I feel like you're no longer doing that. You're now using your inner compass to guide you, okay? Um, Spirit, the Seven of Pentacles. What are we waiting for? What are we? What are we? What is this the energy that is supporting this? This pay, this waiting energy. Two of Pentacles. A lot of Earth energy here. Okay, so you could be a Sun, Moon rising. Um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or even Scorpio here. Okay. What about the judgment energy for me? What is this judgment energy about? Yeah, in the month of August, you're going to be weighing your options. Okay, putting what... what I want to say putting what matters first, but it's not really about what matters. It's about what's going to get you the result that you're looking for. And what feels right to you. Okay. Some of you guys may be traveling this month. Are you being called to travel? Take time for family. Take time for yourself. We have a king of wands with judgment. Okay. So this may be the king of wands type energy that is going to be giving you some sort of results. Some sort of... Um, news okay like you may be having a conversation with the king of wands this could be a fire sign um leo energy aries energy or sagittarius energy strongly picking up leo energy maybe even i'm uh, feeling all but mainly leo um mainly feeling leo energy with this card but 
I do feel like this is someone who is going to be able, this is, this is a visionary person as well. This is someone who has a vision. They know what they, they know what they want or they know what they want for you. So this could be like a doctor or a healer. Um, this could be like a natural path healer or a, someone who just like you meet with them. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. This feels like you are reducing the amount of assistance that you're receiving or reducing the amount of external sources that you're using and you are only focusing or receiving um, receiving support or guidance from one particular person that is in alignment with what your passions are, your desires are, what your beliefs are, and you're you're trusting the messages that are there that are coming from them. Because when you when they deliver their messages to you, when they give you the education, the knowledge, the the instruction on how to move forward in your journey, or they're saying, you know, um, like they're focusing on the whole big picture. They're not just saying, um, they're not breaking it down and saying, you know, like, um, well, it could be you, or it could be your partner, or it could be this, it could be that, or we could try this. It's like they take everything into consideration and they're looking at the whole big picture and it's like such a relief for you because the reason why it's going to be a relief is because what they're saying is aligning with your soul's feeling, like what you're feeling internally, okay, and the ancient wisdom that you're receiving. So what I feel here in the month of August is that you're going to be eliminating the amount of external sources or the amount of things that you have been um, giving your time and your attention to when it comes to your journey to baby. You're going to stop juggling your energy, you know, exhausting yourself, um, and instead you're going to start doing things differently. You're going to start listening to different people possibly, or you're going to start taking instruction from different instructions from others, okay, or another person. This could be a male figure that is like a healer of some sort, okay? Um, they could work with natural healing. It doesn't have to. They don't have to, though. Um, or this could be in regards to you and your partner having this conversation and you guys deciding to move forward with something that you both feel passionate about that is going to support you on your journey to baby, okay? That's what it feels like here. But it feels like we're all in this together type of energy. And when I say all, it's like just me, you, and then, and then like another person, you know? Like it's just, it's us. It's a, it's an inner, small inner circle. Um, and I, I trust them, you know, because I, I, they understand what I'm saying versus this other person or these other people confusing me or making me feel like, you know, what I feel is wrong or whatnot, you know, and still not getting the results that I am looking for. So a lot of you guys in this pile, you guys are finding your soul. It's like you're, it's like you're finding your soulfully aligned, um, doctor or your soulfully aligned mentor or guide or you know and they know how to you know they've been they've done this before like they they know how important it is for you to have this alignment within your mind your body and your spirit they listen to what you're saying you know and then they know what you're passionate about and what you and your partner are wanting to aim for or what you are wanting to aim for and they are going to dedicate their time and energy to help you achieve that okay it's like the person you've been praying for or the situation you've been praying for is incoming in this month, okay? And it's like, it's no, there's no more, it's like I can see clearly like there's no more confusion here in this energy, okay? In this, in this, this journey. Spirit, clarify the eight of pentacles for me for pile number three. What can I expect in the month of August? The eight of pentacles clarify that is there anything else besides them you know i see you know with the eight of pentacles it's like you guys are putting in yeah spirit is telling me so what i was gonna say is like you guys are putting in the like the quote unquote work right but you're not wasting your time on the external like the, and the external work which is what this is representing here you're not wasting your time on things that do not align okay what I see here is Spirit is saying that uh, what you are doing, look at that. We're finally moving from this phase into the next. We have the Four of Wands here. This is you moving into that next level. Spirit is saying what you are doing in the month of August is going to create stability in your journey to baby here, okay? You're going to feel very content and very secure with the results that you receive based on the the information that you receive and it's like this is this feels like a long time coming to be honest like it's like this is a this is something that is like long time coming you know 
I'm hearing finally, <laughs> you know, I'm hearing finally, look at that growth and expansion. You guys are getting somewhere. Okay, no more run around like you guys are actually getting somewhere with the Knight of Cups here is, you know, spirit is saying this is this feels like I heard wish fulfillment. Okay, this feels like a wish fulfillment. Um, this feels like someone bringing instead of you chasing what you are wanting is coming towards you. Okay, what you have been looking for is coming towards you. There's a lot going on. I'm not even going to lie. There's a lot happening here in, the, in your physical space, okay? And I know we were talking a lot about the inner work that you're doing, the inner connection that you have, but it's like you are finally taking the correct or the most aligned action, external action for you versus just throwing things at the wall and hoping it would stick and then maybe juggling a couple of things and being like, well, maybe I'll do this. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. Let me try this. No, 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 I'm not going to do that. Like you finally gain that sense of clarity. And because of that, you feel confident in what you're doing. And because of that, in the month of August, you are going to create this sense of stability here that's going to help you surpass this point of, it's like you create a habit, a routine, and it's no longer like an action you have to think about to do. It's something that you just do, um, you know, I wanted to say without intention, but it's like, it's, it's still an intention, act, intentional action. It's just like, you just don't think about it. You know, it's going to become a routine for you here. Okay. One that feels good for your body. One that sits well with your soul. Okay. And like I said, it could be something that's traditional, something that has to do with traditions, maybe cultural traditions. It could also be, um, something that has to do with religion. Okay. Um, it could also be like, uh, uh, like generational things, like um, maybe not cultural, but more so in regards to your family, like my mom did it and then her mom did it and her mom did like, you know, like that type of energy. Um, but whatever this is here, it's like, it's getting you into this next space. Okay. There's a, there's a call for celebration. Okay. I'm also feeling like the angels are celebrating you. You know, the heavens are celebrating you. They're celebrating you stepping into your sense of, of, of like, <laughs> and this finally, I keep hearing it could be from them too, because it's like, they're saying you're finally stepping into the sense of trusting in yourself, feeling confident in yourself and what you are telling yourself to do. You're going from this space of like, like, oh, you know, like not knowing what to do and like just waiting and waiting and waiting for the results to into the space of like, oh my gosh, this feels so good. I feel so good doing this like this just makes my body feel good this makes my mind feel good this makes my heart feel good like you know this is almost like when you are and i'm going to compare this to like working because this is what it feels like it feels like working but this, this is almost like when you're working like a nine to five job and you're like you know you're doing something that you really don't like but it's you know it's going to bring in money and it's going to eventually pay off but you're like it's going to pay the bills whatever i'm just going to do it but you, you're just doing it right and then you keep going back and forth like do i want to do this do i not want to do this it's like you never feel content into the space of where you're like, you're starting to do the things you feel most passionate about, you feel most aligned with. And you're finally like, you know what? I can do this forever. I can do this all day because I love doing this. And because of that, you finally feel stable. You finally feel content. You stop searching, right? The search is over is what I'm hearing, okay? The search is over. You're listening to your intuition. You're listening to your angels. You're listening to your ancestors, okay? Um, this ancient wisdom that you have within you is actually um, being heard at this time in the month of August. And it really shifts everything here happening in your journey to baby to help guide you, okay? This is internal guidance that you are receiving this month it's beautiful pure be purely beautiful okay um let's see what else we have coming through from for you okay so the first card i have from from baby oh i should use the other deck we're gonna go use this deck first and then i'll move into the other one so the first card i have says you may have some pregnancy complications but don't worry i'll be born healthy so your little one wants you to know that there may be some pregnancy complications when you are pregnant okay this is not about your pregnancy journey here i feel like this is still about the action the action phase but just how you're doing action will be differently or how you're taking action will be differently um but during pregnancy here I feel like there may be something going on. Um, of course, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to say there's going to be um, problems, okay? Um, but you hear those sirens in the background. Like, there's definitely going to be something that needs your attention during your pregnancy. But baby's like, don't worry, I'll be born healthy. Um, let's see what else we have here coming through for you. We have... 
I'll be an alert baby. Oh my gosh. And I was just talking about there's something that for you to be alert, right? Something to pay attention to. And now we have the alert and alarm going off in the background. So baby's like, <laughs> baby's like, I'll be alert. I'll be an alert baby. Um, I'm also seeing with conception, possibly some of you guys will be conceiving next year. I'll be conceived next year. Okay. This could also be within a year. So from um, August, 2024 to August, 2025, you may be conceiving your little one. I definitely see you're heading in the right direction. So that is beautiful. Okay, some of you guys could also be working on your finances, especially because we bring it in the, um, you know, the money aspect here. It's almost like you have been struggling or you have been struggling trying to bring some sense of stability into your physical space. And now it's like, I'm finally listening to what my, my soul feels aligned with. And so therefore I now am building, you know, I'm in this state of building, um, especially with the four of pentacles It's given me like the four walls. Okay. The four walls. Some of you guys could be moving into a house with the four of wands, moving into a house or getting married or something like you're creating stability within your family unit um and because of that it is almost like you're stepping into the sense of like um the pioneer you're becoming the pioneer and you're you're, you're taking charge and you're you're moving forward okay um and what you say goes and because of that you are advancing here in your fertility journey this is like the month where miracles began okay like this is what it feels like here um, let's see what else we have. I'm going to pull two cards from the Spirit Baby deck. Let's see what we have. What two messages do you have for your mama or your papa here? Okay. For those of you guys who have felt so like overwhelmed, overworked, um, just like you've just been doing everything and no results, like that's a thing of the past. Okay. Your little one wants to say that at this time. And I know we said it before, but they're coming through saying it again okay this is your spirit baby coming through um they said please know that i feel the love you send to me beautiful <laughs> they're like do you feel the love i send to you too mama and papa such a strong love connection look at that you are doing a great job of raising your vibration keep ascending like i said with the four of wands it's like definitely ascension energy you're definitely moving into this next phase of your journey to baby okay out of the the struggle or the hardship and into ease is what this feels like here okay beautiful beautiful keep doing what you're doing on the bottom of the deck we have please don't give up on me okay so the baby's like don't give up on me i know it's been hard i know it's been difficult all right spirit what if our what is our last message here for pile number three what is it that you want to share with them thank you spirit for your messages Pile number three in the month of august what are we looking at Think on your feet. Yes, the number nine. I love it. Okay, the number nine. So that is an energy of endings. Okay, old cycles coming to an end. But also with think on your feet um, and the fox energy, this is about you being clever, right? This is once again, we're not wasting time. We're not wasting energy. You know, we're being clever. We are, we are, we are only taking action, intentional action based on what feels best and what makes most sense, what is most practical, okay? We are we are being clever here. <laughs> um, and let's get one more. Oh, I should have just looked at the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see what we have here, Spirit. I don't know why I felt like this. You guys are the only one who I shuffled again for in this deck. I usually just look at the bottom of the deck, but let's see what we have here. That must not have been your message. So let's get one more for pile number three, Spirit. What is the energy surrounding? You could also see foxes. Okay, foxes can be a sign for you guys. Yeah, I'm looking at that seed again that she's holding. It looks like she's holding a seed in between her solar plexus and her heart chakra. So you could be planting new seeds this month or this is your harvest. Okay, this is your harvest. This is what you've been praying for. You've been manifesting. You've been wanting. Oh my gosh butterflies okay and and it landed right where it's supposed to right in the right spot you guys like it knew where it was going and knew like you were heading into your destination right remember we were talking about the driving blind like you're heading right into your destination okay like it landed right here okay and this is where i was gonna put the card so and it says transformation is beautiful number 11 so you are going through such a beautiful transformation this month in the month of august you may see lots of butterflies you may see um red feathers or uh, foxes okay as a sign and synchronicity that this is your reading um and you know i'm also picking up with please know that i feel the love you sent to me i feel like your baby is saying you know love yourself love yourself over you know throughout this month because what this feels like is is almost like i'm um 
it's such a relieving feeling. It's it's such a feeling of relief, but it's also like you may be hard on yourself. Like there's going to be moments where throughout August where you may be like, oh, I wasted so much time. Why didn't I just listen to myself? You know, <laughs> we have those moments sometimes where we're like, oh, if I would have just listened to myself a long time ago, I would have avoided this, this and that, I feel like. But you really don't know, right? You don't know. Um, and I believe that everyone's story goes in the way that it's meant to be. Um, despite, you know, our emotions and how we feel about all that stuff, you know, it's just everything is divinely planned. And so what I see here is like your, your spirit guides are coming through saying like this transformation that I have been watching has been beautiful. You have done great. Okay, this is where you're supposed to be. This is when you were supposed to realize that you, the power has lived within you all along. And you are going to transition into this new sense of using your power in your journey beautifully. Okay, so <laughs> I love you guys. You have to let me know down below in the comment section how this resonates with you. Or, you know, if you feel this energy here, if you're just tired, you know, and you're ready for this change, you know, let me know down below in the comment section. I definitely feel this energy here in this pile. But remember, this, this month is going to be different than any other month you have experienced so far in your journey to baby. No matter how long you've been trying to conceive. For some of you guys two years, four years, seven years, eight years, okay? It just feels like a very long period of time. I definitely, I feel like eight eight months to a year plus in this pile, okay? Um, and so things are, things are picking up, okay? Things are picking up. You're at the top of the mountain. You're at the top of the mountain, goddess. <laughs> so this is what I have for you. I'm sending you so much love, light, and of course, baby dust. And please let me know if you have any questions what are whatsoever down below, okay? Um, if you would like to book a personal session so we can get more in-depth messages about your journey to baby in particular, please click the links in the description box or in the comment section, okay, to book your session with me. And don't forget to join the family by hitting the subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up if you loved it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.